Thanks so much. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, so first, what I want to say is um, we're going to talk a little bit today about housing Nova Scotia and some of the programs uh, that we offer. Uh, Mr. Fury, you and your staff have been great. Uh, it's been a great opportunity for us to spread some information. And it's, uh, I think, indicative of ways in which you're seeing government departments and agencies working closer together to get information out um, and to be able to maximize opportunities for folks. Um, there's lots of help there. We want to make sure that people know about it and have access to it. Um, I, like you, share the desire to get a little bit more into the digital age and being able to help folks apply for our, uh, our programs. And we're working along the same path, so perhaps there's more ways for us in the future to continue uh, collaborating on that. For those who are not familiar with housing in Nova Scotia, uh, we're a provincial government agency and we're responsible for ensuring that low and modest income in Nova Scotians live in a home that's safe and affordable. We offer grants and loans for seniors on fixed incomes and families with limited incomes with home repairs and adaptations that relate to health and safety. As our population continues to get older, a growing number of homeowners need adaptations to meet their needs. For example, someone may have reduced mobility um, or have mobility challenges. They might have a two-story home and require a bathroom on the main level of their home or perhaps even a bedroom. Our home repair programs can help work with the individual to make that happen through forgivable loans and grants. There are other situations where simply a ramp to their home, a handrail or a grab bar may be what folks are looking for to be able to make their home a safer place. Again, our programs will help with that. The financial assistance that we provide to make your home safe looks at things such as major repairs to structure, plumbing, electrical, heating systems, and fire safety. Our staff are also experienced and ready to help with any situation, be it minor or major. So if you have a leaky roof or you have a furnace that is not working during the winter, we certainly have emergency abilities to go out and help get that furnace going or replace the furnace at potentially no cost to the homeowner. Funding for housing programs varies, but typically individuals can be um, have access to up to sixteen thousand dollars worth of home assistance. Last year, we were able to help twenty two hundred homeowners stay in their home or make adaptations to that home, with a total budget of about twenty million dollars. Eligibility for these programs typically we would look at ownership but also we look at the incomes and the needs of that individual in order to see if it is right for them. The criteria may change depending upon what part of the province you are in. So it's not a one, one size has to fit all. We look at your region where you are, we look at your household composition. As we head into the winter months, I encourage every homeowner on a fixed income or limited income to call the regional office to vote information. We too are gonna to be making uh, information available at local MLA offices as well. So if you have any questions, call us. Uh, you can reach us on the web, but also please come in and consider filling out applications uh, at our regional housing services offices or our regional housing authority office. Our goal is to make sure that everyone can stay in their home and keep it warm and safe um, and continue to live in that environment as long as this is a location they'd like to call home. Again, I'd like to thank Minister Fury for this opportunity to speak uh, about the housing programs to the staff at Service Nova Scotia for helping us spread the word about our programs. I hope everybody has a great day and thanks so much. Any questions, happy to sit down and have conversations and talk about our programs. Thanks again. Thank you.